Gotta say, Krillin scored himself a gorgeous wife. I wonder if cyborgs like her and her brother age after they've been mechanically altered. Guess only time will tell. Does that mean 18 will be young and beautiful forever? A wife who's young forever. What more could a guy dream of? She went from being one of our most hated enemies to being a fellow protector of the planet. Crazy how things change, huh? This is that strange-looking android who attacked the city with Dr. Giro. Android 19 was Dr. Giro's most obedient creation. Bet he wished he designed all of them to be like that. I bet an army full of 19s would be a pain to defeat. The androids and Cell were created by this mad scientist. Ugh, what a waste of intelligence. This guy was a researcher for the Red Ribbon Army, right? Yep. Goku crushed the Red Ribbon Army when he was a kid. And since then, their remnants have carried a grudge against him. This is an android created by Dr. Jiro. He loves nature and animals, and he even became friends with Gohan. Despite being made by the same guy, each of the androids have such distinct personalities. Maybe it's because they're each based on a unique model of some kind? This is 18's twin brother. Back then, he was really mean-spirited and cruel. He was a real problem for Dr. Jiro, constantly disobeying his orders and all. He was converted into an android against his will, wasn't he? Can't blame him for his bad attitude. Looks like Seventeen's chilled out a bit. These days, he protects the forests on a remote island, and he's a dad. When he won the Tournament of Power for us, I know he wanted a nice boat for him and his family, but he wished to save our universe instead. Well, I gave him an expensive cruiser, so wish fulfilled. Just what I'd expect from the richest woman on Earth. This thing looks very unique. This was Dr. Giro's ultimate android creation. He absorbs the bio-extract of humans to make himself stronger. He devoured entire city populations, all for the sake of attaining a transformation. This is Cell after absorbing number 17. Yep, Vegeta fought this freak. Why does he look like that? Even 17 couldn't make him any more human-like or any less repulsive. After Cell absorbed 17 and 18, he went on to host his own tournament called the Cell Games. What a strange thing to do. I couldn't believe it when I found out Gohan defeated him when he was just a kid. Goku always pushes things too far. Piccolo was really angry at him. Not only did he survive self-destructing, but he came back even stronger than before. Perfect, perfecter cell? It never ends with this guy. For all the horrible things he did, he deserves to rot in the underworld. Cell created a bunch of miniature copies of himself, but Gohan eradicated all seven of them. Or was it eight? Considering just one of them was strong enough to overpower Vegeta, it's incredible how easily Gohan took them all out. And he's usually so calm and kind-hearted. I can't even picture that. This is another one of the androids that Dr. Jiro made. Looks like its sole purpose is to kill Goku. That old quack never quits, does he? I wish he'd forget about Goku and go do something else with his life. You're right. His research could have been put to far better use. This was when Android 13 absorbed parts from 14 and 15. Goku crushed him with the power of a spirit bomb. I was worried sick when Gohan got put in the hospital. Thank goodness he was able to get back to his studies. After that, Vegeta and Piccolo kind of just didn't come home for a while. At least not till the fish jumped. Oh, and don't ask. It's Android 8. He and Goku were friends since they were kids.
Goku and that 16 have the same air about them. This is the 17 you know merged with some other 17 or something, I think. Mm -hmm.